today is going to be a pretty big organizing video and um, you'll see me put in these bamboo dividers they're everywhere y'all will also see some new stuff that I don't ever see people using um, so anyway I got these and I put two in this drawer and just tried to divide it up by like type of utensil. This is my utensil drawer. I have uh, two of them and you'll see me working on the second one next. But I was trying to get everything in there. The only thing I don't like about this setup is that it doesn't leave room for my little like bin of junk drawer stuff. So I'm not sure what to do about that but it does look a lot prettier. Than whenever I uh, had had it before, so. So in the middle I'm putting like all my spatulas and like bigger longer utensils and then over on the side I left that section a little bit wider because I wanted to lay out flat um, my like ice cream scoops, cookie scoops, that kind of thing. And then in the back of the widest section I put like... Uh, my like pastry cutter and bench scraper and stuff like the wider things that tend to get in the way so I've been wanting to do something with these drawers for a while because the setup I had before was okay but it was uh, making it hard to pull the drawer in and out because something would always get caught and I know I have a lot of utensils but I use them all so I don't really want to pare them down any more than they already are So these bins that I had in there before, they didn't go the full length of the drawer. They stopped a little bit and then after that space um, is where I put like my junk drawer stuff in the little white bin that you see on the counter and that's why all the utensils and stuff would get stuck is because they weren't spaced out the, um, along the full length of the drawer like this. So this has been working much better. It's been a week or two now and it's still set up like this. Unless I find something different that works even better, I'm just gonna keep it like this, I think. And I'll probably just have to move that junk drawer stuff to my office. And this is what was left over that did not go in that utensil drawer. Okay, so here I am clearing out the second drawer and you can see how stuck things were. So the other drawer I use mostly for like my metal utensils like tongs, you know, anything like that. So um, this one I use for like my silicone utensils, my wooden utensils, and then like odds and ends like parts to my immersion blender my kick leveler and stuff like that so
So in this section is where I'm putting my little box that's, um, it's a bread lame. And then, uh, I've got all my silicone utensils in that section. And it's hard for me to pop part with those. Like I don't use nonstick cookware anymore because of the chemicals and stuff that can rub off into your food. But the silicone utensils, I am pretty sure that um, silicone like that where it's dyed and everything it's probably not the best thing to use because uh, I've used silicone pans and stuff before and I always smell it or they always contain the scent of like dish soap and stuff and so I don't have silicone pans anymore like I used to like muffin pans and stuff like that but I, I can't part with my silicone utensils sometimes they're so nice and like whenever you're frying eggs and stuff nothing sticks to it so those are lovely I I really enjoy those and then y'all saw in the middle I've got my Danish dough whisk scrolling pins and like wooden utensils that kind of thing and then I got my cake leveler and all the other like random odds and ends in this section lots of canning magnets and stuff like that So what do y'all think? Do these drawers look too busy to you or do they look better than before? So this box has been taking up space in my living room for about a week now. I'm kind of tired of it because it's huge. Um, that's actually empty. So this is all organizational stuff that I ordered um, and I'll put a link down below to show you where I got everything, but it's all pretty affordable. Okay, so this is like a spray paint can rack um, that I'm using for to organize my husband's hobbies. So that's for his stuff. And he actually already has one, but we really liked it. It worked way better than we thought it would. So I ordered a second one. Um, See, I've already taken some of the stuff out the boxes. I got more drawer dividers here. So try to use those. I don't know if I'm gonna use those in the kitchen or in my dresser. I got this, it's a lid organizer. Y'all have seen me go through so many lid organizers or it feels like that anyway. I also ordered a second one of these because they're um, over the cabinet door. So I bought another one and it's over there. I'll get it right here is the second one. And they are tiered, which I couldn't find anywhere else. Well, Amazon might have had one, but it was super expensive. These were like really cheap and they're pretty sturdy. So, um, then I got the Ziploc bag organizer. Typically I like the wood style or whatever, but this isn't gonna be on display. I don't have extra drawers. This isn't a really big kitchen. So I had my Ziplocs in my pantry and I have too much stuff in my pantry. My shelves aren't that great. So they would end up on the floor, the boxes of Ziploc bags. Got tired of that. I cleared out some space in a cabinet up there. I'll show you where I have the boxes, but they just take up so much room. So I'm hoping I can just put them all in this and then pull them out of the cabinet and get access to all of them that I need. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, and now this box is empty, so I can break that down once I'm done with this stuff.
So this is pretty cool. It comes with like nice clear command style hooks. I don't know if that's even gonna fit in there. That doesn't fit. It sticks out. I thought it would fit either way, but it doesn't. Of course it would fit that way, but then it would be the only thing that would work in that cabinet. So, I guess this will go back in the pantry and this space will be used for something else, but it's better than having random boxes all over the place. Okay. Those are quart freezer bags. And we've got two things of sandwich bags. I don't buy snack bags, um, so I guess it'll be pretty easy to tell the difference between these. So it didn't come with any labels, but I can make my own labels if I want to. I recently got an embossing labeler, so I've got two things. Oh, it's hard to get them all out of sandwich bags. I don't know if all of the sandwich bags will even fit in here. Might have to mix a Ziploc with the Aldi brand. Gosh, this looks like a mess. Looks pretty good. So I brought these down here. This I don't know where I'm putting yet. I might honestly end up putting it on the wall because it does not fit in that cabinet um, like I thought it would, which is okay. Um, so I don't really know where I'm going to put that, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so my cabinet's a little, there's like crumbs in it. Okay, so I found this lid organizer from um, a Habitat for Humanity Restore, and I like it, I really do, but it does not hold all my lids. It holds like two more, um, they were dirty, so. But I really like it. It's a caraway one. If you've seen the caraway pots and pans, that's what this comes with um, to store your lids. But I don't use nonstick pans, so I'm not really interested in the caraway pans. <laughs> but I always liked the lid organizer, and you can see this says caraway down there. Well, anyway, it just it doesn't work as well as it could. But these are much wider, and they're tiered. It's three long um and they hook onto each other so i'm gonna set one of these up but first i'm gonna take these like command strip things that came off gosh they came with the caraway thing they were just attached to like a, a sheet of wax paper or parchment paper um, hopefully i can get them off without messing up the cabinets so but they look like I don't know if they had been used or never been used or what, but the person that donated them was actually kind enough to send these with. So I'm just going to set those upside down on that. It didn't leave any marks on my cabinet, by the way. By the way, if you were around for the um, organization video that I did, whenever I put the Dollar Tree command hooks up here, to organize my pot lids, then you know, um, you, you might have been nervous with me that those wouldn't come off. <laughs> uh, 
and they worked well initially but what happens is whenever you sling the um, door shut the cabinet some of them would fall down and they were better for holding these small pot lids and not the large ones so I I've been trying different solutions and stuff and um, sometimes it just doesn't work and that's okay um, I feel like this caraway pot lid I can I feel like the caraway lid organizer I can use for something else maybe I hope um, if not it was only a dollar so it's no or no foul it has instructions but you don't need to use any screws or anything um, so okay so this has the hook on it I don't know if y'all can see the way that bracket is and then oh I like that it has this so it keeps stuff from falling out the back of it and then what you do is these are stuck together looks like now why is that shaped that way oh okay so these there's like little loops in the bottom that you hook these through I don't know if y'all can see that there's like a little loop there and then I think we're gonna go ahead and hook it onto this yeah it juts out a little further than I thought it would but it does fit by the way if you're looking at all this stuff and thinking it's super expensive it wasn't um i got it from a store called the lakeside collection online ordered from them several times i've never been disappointed um of course i say that now and i can't get the, the bottom one through the loops okay i got that one through it just can't be up against the cabinet when i do that okay i got it all right How, what do y'all think about that I apologize if the last 10 minutes sounded different. My mic was off apparently. So I turned it off and then I forgot to turn it back on. Okay, so I have this set up. Let me see how all this closes before I commit. Okay, it, it closes. Well, it juts out a little bit, but um, my pots are sticking out further than they normally are. So it does close, which is nice. And it looks like I have pasta sauce there. Let me rub that off. <laughs> are like a little bit wide, so even if you had thicker cabinet doors, you could probably still use it. So let me see how many pot lids this can hold. Can it hold a lot is the question. My biggest one is dirty, so I'm just gonna have to wait and find out how that one is. Can it hold more than that? Yeah, okay, so those can be held together. There's only two. Oh. It holds a lot of the little ones well, because these, that already holds more than the caraway. Okay, let's see. Okay, here it is. It's like I know I have another one. Okay, oh, uh -huh. my small ones are going to have to go up there, because that one does not fit. Um, here's another small one, I'm going to put that one up top. I don't know if it's going to fit my big one. Once that's down, I only have one other lid that's dirty, I'm pretty sure. Other than that, I think that's all my lids. So I have two that are that size, one that's really small, one that's in between, two medium, and then one that's dirty. So we'll see once I wash that one. I'll try it out and see if that fits. Let's see if we can get use out of putting one 
see, I already have this here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ah, can y'all see? Yeah. So this is where like the cutting boards go, stuff like that. Um, I actually like this one, and I don't think that this, I don't think that this would work well to like replace it because these are too tall. Because I've got donut pans in here. Um, that cabinet is pretty well organized but still. I don't know if y'all think so, but I think so. Because um, I haven't organized that in months. Now, I still want to try to find a spot for this. I don't know where. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure that this will work either. But if it does, I can move more of my cleaners down here. Um, I don't know if it'll hit that. It'll definitely hit those clear containers because there's only so far back I can move that. We're going to set it up and we'll see how it works. But the reason why I went ahead and ordered a second one is because One, the price was really good. Um, the place runs sales all the time. And two, I can put it behind like a door or something in a bedroom. It doesn't have to be in a cabinet. Um, so, although the prongs might not be wide enough to go on, on a door. Oh, that looks cute. I think it looks better on the narrow cabinet because it fits within like, I don't know, the margins. We'll see. It's not going to close. Oh, it's a vase. Okay. We can make room for a vase. That's no big deal. Okay. Make it fit now? Yeah. Okay, so it closes now. Like, I don't really know what I'd put in here, but, um, like, dish brushes can lay that way as long as they're dry. Um, I keep my dish brushes in a vase right here, but they could be there. Um, gloves can go in one of these. I don't know, just an idea. I'm gonna think about this though, because I might move it to another room and we'll just see how it all pans out. Okay, so we're where my husband stores all his hobby stuff. This is the spray paint rack that I organized before. And he's got old cans and stuff like that. Tomato sauce can is empty. Um, he uses that to mix paints and stuff. Um, but anyway, he requested that I order him a second spray paint rack. And it's just going to go beside it, like right back here. So let me get this stuff out of the way and try to move that. Seems like a pretty good spot for it and this stuff can go down in front of it right now because there's not, um, by the way, there's not coffee in that, <laughs> just so you know. Um, uh, we repurpose things around here, so um, I don't know of any cans he has yet to fill up this one so while it's empty it's not as stable it does come with screws you can use to put it in the wall but I have found that this one's pretty sturdy so I'm just gonna leave it as is and um, this one's I just put stuff in it so that it don't, won't like fall over or anything since there's nothing in it so the last thing I have is these four plastic drawer dividers y'all saw me put the bamboo dividers in and they look nice, but what happened when I did this was they, it left me no space because used to, from like here to here to the end of the drawer was room for like um, markers and rubber bands and binder clips and it was my like junk drawer section because I don't have enough drawers in my kitchen 
to have an actual drunk junk drawer. Um, that was easy for me to say. So, and my utensils, because they're so long, they fit so much better this way. So I don't really want to add that section back in. But at the same time, now I don't think I can use these in the kitchen. I think the better spot for those would be my dresser drawers, maybe. You know what? We're back over here because I thought of something that might work pretty well in this spot. And that would be, these are clean dishes drying up here. And this is already dry. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try putting my plastic Tupperware in here. That won't work at the top. Um, maybe a lid will work at the top. Yep, lids are gonna work at the top. So we're gonna try this, see if it works, because this is my Tupperware drawer. Um, right here, let me get all the plastic stuff out. I don't know if this is all of it, but it's pretty dang close. I have this blue set of Tupperware, well, Rubbermaid, whatever. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of space for my glass dishes because I have some glass like meal prep dishes in this drawer. That's the only drawer I have to dedicate to food storage containers. So, um, I might put those at the bottom. And that might be able to fit two of these because I have more of these sandwich size containers. These will have to be smaller. And I could put all the lids in one spot, um, which makes sense anyway because lids are the hardest thing to get to, you know? So let's see, Maybe press these together and then they won't be tempted to fall out of the back of it. Okay. These are all the same size. So I don't know, what do y'all think? Does that look better? I think so. Um, and it still fits. So let me look real quick to see if I have more plastic stuff. Okay, yeah, I have a lid, two lids, and then I have more of these little ones for like dips and stuff. Show you all the inside of this now. I have like some um, Christmas cookie boxes in here, but overall it's looking pretty empty now. Now I think this drawer has enough space in it for me to use one of these drawer dividers to hold the lids up and out of the way. So we're gonna just dump everything out, honestly. These can go on the floor because they're wrapped in plastic. Everything else put on the counter. And I have these like silicone stretch lids for what I'm gonna try to do is make it go this way and just have a little section from here to here that holds lids and stuff and odds and ends. Okay, so you pull up this little tab, it's got an arrow on it, and then you pull it out. So these aren't the spring-loaded ones, um, like the, like the other thing, like the bamboo ones I got. I don't know how much space I'm gonna need, so we're just gonna try it like this. And I'm gonna put it down.
y'all that's everything thanks so much for hanging out with me today and i hope y'all had a good time i hope y'all got some inspiration um from all of this and i'll see y'all next time bye